Hey, what's up guys, it's Ban here from Renderall.com. Why wishing you all a very happy new year. I want to welcome you all to my new home, the place that I'm going to be using to make more awesome videos in 2023 and the years to come. So with that intro out of the way, I want to jump right on into business and start talking about Let's say you didn't upgrade your phone this year for whatever reason. I mean, we are living in an economic crisis right now, not just Sri Lanka, but the entire world is going through major economic challenges, right? So for, let's say for whatever reason, you couldn't upgrade your smartphone. And it's been a while, let's say it's been a couple of years since you upgraded your phone and it's looking stale, but you have no plans of upgrading it anytime soon. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your old phone feel fresh how can you make your slow buggy phone into a you know fast and fresh experience that you would enjoy and you would like to use on a daily basis so if you guys are excited for that smash that subscribe button right now share this video with your friends and let's get started with today's video The first step is optional, but I would strongly recommend you guys to do it. That is to go into settings, go into general, and then if you scroll down here, you will find reset iPhone. So this is if you're using an iPhone, but if you're using an Android phone, you can go into settings and search for reset device and you will find that and you can reset your device. I would recommend you guys to reset your device and get started with this because then you know that you're starting off from a fresh phone. This will be the best way to ensure that you get a fresh uh, fast phone because we don't know what applications you have installed um, and uh, you know how much of uh, your storage has been filled up. So before you do the formatting, make sure that you back up, let's say apps like WhatsApp and uh, the pictures that you have and all of that. Make sure you back those up. Uh, for the photos, you can use something like Google Photos. If not, um, you know, uh, the WhatsApp uh, messages and all of that will automatically get backed up to the cloud if you set it up. So uh, make sure you back everything up and get started with step one. It's optional in case you don't want to do it, you, you can just skip that and go to the next step. The second step is to ensure that you go ahead and uh, double check whether your tempered glass, whatever you're using right now, in case you have one or if you don't have one, just um, get a tempered glass because that's very important in this day and age. I've spoken about this so many times. Phones are getting very expensive. Uh, to buy at least here in Sri Lanka. So whatever device you have, you need to protect with a good uh, tempered glass and a cover if you can. Um, I mean, I'm, I I uh, use, I have a lot of covers that I use. Uh, I change um, on a regular basis. So this one right now, this is like a sandstone finish cover that I'm using right now. So not only does it change the color of my phone, uh, it's also giving me a fresh feel in my hand. So it has that OnePlus type vibe so i that's why i have different types of ones i have a leather case i have like a, a cloth based case different different types of uh, materials uh, so like it's it's like i'm using a fresh phone right uh, when i change the cover so i would uh, advise you guys to look into those options um, these are very cheap on aliexpress i'll have a couple of links down below in the description for you to check uh, check so you just need to search for your device model whatever device you have and then search for that particular cover most of the time you'll be able to find it and then also make sure that you get a fresh tempered glass if your tempered glass is broken or else if it is not you can continue with that and then uh, if your phone is maybe water resistant and in case you haven't dropped it anywhere you can even uh, hold it to the shower and just uh, you know clean it off a bit if not you can just use um, a cleaning cloth uh, you know and wipe off the device very well and ensure that you clean the device really well and for the cover uh, i would strongly recommend you wash the cover once in a while uh, because a lot of dirt can get caught up uh, and that could damage your device so ensure that you do that uh, right at the start uh, before we do any of the other things the next thing is let's say you're still using the stock wallpaper for some reason i've seen a lot of people still using the stock wallpaper so all you have to do is you need to go into settings then you need to go into wallpaper 
from here you can add whatever wallpaper you want so i have added multiple wallpapers to my device that i change uh, however if you want to add a new wallpaper you can add a new wallpaper from here apple has given so many new uh, wallpaper options in ios 16 so you can select one of these or else you can go ahead and select one of your photos from the photos option over here uh, or else you can shuffle it up select an emoji or do something like this so you can select any emoji that you want and all of that will get reflected and this will be you know um, fresh experience uh, on your device and also you can go ahead and add different different widgets right and this will give you glanceable information that that will really make meaningful choices like for an example having the iphone's battery in a you know more clear way uh, or else uh, getting your fitness uh, you know the the rings over here that will be really nice to have and whatever the weather is or whatever reminders this is what i personally use quite often the reminder so that i see it uh, on my lock screen so that i can quickly act on it so things like that you can do uh, to ensure that you get a fresh wallpaper not just only on uh, this so when you're actually going to set the wallpaper it will ask whether you want to do it for the home screen as well so you can set it as a pair or else you can go ahead and customize it um, for the home screen separately if you want to do that and then you can go ahead and set a different color a gradient or else you can go ahead and set a picture as well so those are the type of options you have so i'm going to set this yellow one and as you can see the wallpaper is now yellow and the lock screen has the emojis that i showed you guys so uh, this is already a fresh looking phone, but we are not going to stop there. We are going to go into settings again and from sounds and haptics, we can go into the ringtone and why don't you go ahead and set a custom ringtone, right? Right now, a lot of people I have seen on iPhones, they are using the default uh, iPhone tone, right? Uh, especially in a room full of people using iPhones, like if you're using the default tones, you won't know whether it's your phone or whether it's someone else's phone that's ringing. So that's why I recommend you guys to set a custom ringtone. If you guys don't know how to set a custom ringtone on iOS, I will make a dedicated video on that. Let me know if you guys would like to see that kind of video in the future so that I can make that happen. So right now I'm a big WWE fan, so that's why I have um, WWE ringing tones uh, set on my device. So I even have uh, custom ringtones like say for my wife, I have a, a different tone, for my mom, I have a separate tone. So I know who's calling, um, but so like especially when, you know, uh, when it's an important call, I don't want to miss. When it's a separate tone, I don't have to run to my phone whenever I don't have my phone with me. Uh, when I hear it ringing, I know who's calling just when I hear the ringtone. Let's say you want to set a custom ringtone to your wife. You can go under ringtones over here under the contact and from there you can select whatever ringtone you want. So I've selected the Undertaker's ringtone for my wife every time uh, my wife calls the Undertaker's tone is going to go off. So with that joke out of the way, uh, the next thing you can do is why don't you go into the apps that you have and just have a look at the apps that you really have and get rid of the stuff that you don't want. Like I'm sure if you go into like if you have a games folder like me, uh, you might be having so many games filled inside, but I'm sure you don't get the time to play all of these games. At least I personally don't get the time to play all of these games. I haven't opened some of these games in forever. So let's say for an example, I play Call of Duty mostly on my uh, PlayStation now. So I don't really play Call of Duty Mobile anymore. So I can go ahead and remove that application by hitting on it and then I can delete the app. So that way Call of Duty is now gone and I have cleared up space on my device. Um, I don't really have a space restriction on my device uh, because I have ample room on this uh, phone. So that's not really a concern, but especially if you have older device with space restrictions, uh, getting rid of all these unused applications will take you a long way. So make sure you check and uh, remove those unused apps. And also, while you're at it, go to your notes, go to your reminders and, you know, things like that and make sure that you delete or archive your old, um, old, uh, you know, notes, old reminders, like whatever is done. Like uh, at one point, you might be having like, you know, hundreds and hundreds of reminders that you have set, but you have not cleared off, right? That, that's the thing that could have happened. So make sure that you clear them off and ensure that your reminders are 
you know reminders and notes you know um, have a fresh beginning so it's very easy for you to add new things to that and also if you are using whatsapp quite often make sure that you enable whatsapp backups and also with google photos enable google photo backups because that way all the photos that you capture will be backed up to the cloud um, so I've already made a dedicated video on Google Photos. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen it. In case you haven't, I will have a link for it down below in the description. Uh, for WhatsApp, let me show you how to set up the WhatsApp backups right now. You need to first go into the WhatsApp app. You need to go into settings, then you need to go into chats. And then from here, you need to go into chat backup. So here you have something called backup now. So you can go ahead and start with the backup process. And that's how you can backup all your chats uh, right into whatsapp it's a daily thing you can make sure that the backup frequency is set to daily so that every day in the morning it will automatically get backed up also another thing uh, to be aware about on your device is if you go into settings and if you go into notifications right um, if there are any applications that sending you annoying notifications like let's say for an example uh, let's take um, let's take call of duty so if Call of Duty app is sending you annoying notifications, you can go ahead and stop all the notifications once and for all, or else you can go ahead and make it only show notifications on the lock screen by removing these two. It will only show you notifications now on the lock screen. So that's going to be very important because it's not going to take up your time uh, anymore. Uh, if you, you know, if it's an annoying thing, you can just stop it once and for all from here, right? Uh, and if it's an uh, important notification for you, you can even uh, turn on announcements so that uh, Siri will automatically read out that notification when it comes out. Let's say for messages and all of that, if you prefer something like that, you can uh, enable those things. So those are settings that are available here on iOS, but even on Android, most of these things that I spoke about, it's available on Android as well. I'm just going to be making this video mainly focused on an iPhone, but you can do all of these things on an Android phone as well. Another thing you can do to improve your smartphone experience is invest in a couple of accessories, right? Other than the tempered glass, the cover and all of that, why don't you go ahead and invest in like a MagSafe power bank or a regular power bank that has a lot of capacity. So these are two power banks that I have. Um, and uh, not only that, you can also invest in AirPods or something like that, especially if you're using an iPhone, that'll really enhance your experience overall. And finally, if you want to be more productive this year, go into settings, and go into screen time and just make sure that you set app limits over here uh, if you want to you know restrict yourself from using particular applications uh, over time you can just go ahead and add it here or you can just check how much you have been using your phone and uh, just uh, sort of uh, set boundaries and restrictions for yourself so that you don't uh, go over the limit when you're using your phone that will really help you out in the long run i feel and also a bonus feature that i want to recommend you guys is especially if you're using an iphone set a focus so i've set a couple of focus um, options here uh, for myself uh, for the work that i do especially when i'm shooting a video i have this video focus mode that's the the mode that i have set so automatically the wallpaper also changes along with that with the focus and i don't get any calls or any messages or anything like that in this focus mode so that really makes me focus to the work that i do uh, but i have another work mode uh, work profile over here that's what i do regular uh, when i'm doing regular work uh, so you know even i have set you know permissions for like you know the most wanted contacts that i have like let's say for my wife or any of my family members i've allowed but anyone else i've just blocked it off so that i can focus on my work but uh, during the daytime i have set uh, the personal mode so all the calls and all of that come up and i also have this special driving mode enabled and uh, only two people are allowed to call me my mom and my wife and only the calls like i can't really use my phone while i'm driving it will show that i'm driving and um, you know it will not even let me use my phone so which is, which is a really good thing that will uh, improve my safety as well so that's something you also should consider setting, especially if you have an iPhone. So that's a bonus feature that I'm giving you guys as well. So if you do all of these things by now, you will have 
a fresh phone so uh, hopefully this works out for you let me know what you guys think about these tips and if you have any anything to add to this drop a comment down below so that is how you can turn your old slow phone to a fresh looking phone so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely smash that subscribe button and hit on that notification button for more videos just like this one and definitely share this video with all of your friends as well and if you have any video suggestions for me in the future let me know if you'd like a like a house tour let me know i'll see what i can do and i'll try to make that happen you can hit me up on social media as always all the links are down below in the description and also i've been uploading shorts uh, since the first of jan and i've been uploading ones daily so uh, hopefully by the end of the year i want to have minimum 365 shorts right here on youtube and um, you can go ahead and check them out as well so with all of that being said, until I see you guys in my next video, this is Banu, signing out.